You're watching part three on how to build the Mini Condor Boost Glider. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. We're on part three on building the Mini Condor Boost Glider. Um, in our last uh, episode, we had installed the horizontal and vertical tail, plus we put on the hooks that is used to engage the pop pod that will carry the rocket into the sky. Um, now everything is dry because that's in the last episode I wanted to make sure that everything was dry so I left everything a little bit. Um, now I want to come back and put super glue along the edges here. Now the reason for this is when the rock the glider is gliding when it lands on the ground it always scrapes along this edge. So we want to toughen that up a little bit and we want to use super glue. Um, I prefer to use thin super glue, but you can use thick as well. Um, if you're using thin, make sure to wear your safety glasses. Um, and basically I just want to put super glue along the edges then let that wick in and then wipe it off and then do the other side. You can see it's water thin here and it can splash and get into your eyes so that's why you want to make sure that you're wearing safety glasses. Oh and it also gives off a nice fume that makes your eyes water. Um, and that will dry in a second. Um, and when it doesn't stick to you anymore um, then it's dry or hardened and then you can sand it lightly um, just to clean off the fuzz. It kind of brings the fuzz to the surface. Let's see, I'm just sanding it. Okay, and that's really all it takes. Um, it just toughens that up so that it doesn't uh, cause the wood to split so easily. Uh, when it lands on the ground. Okay, so moving along, um, our next step is to glue the wing panels to the plastic dihedral piece. Now this step is very critical uh, as far as the orientation goes. You notice that one edge is flat and then the other edge is kind of swept backwards. So this is the back of the wing so we want to put the wings on like that. We want to make sure that we don't put them on this way. Because now, um, so make sure that you look right here um, so that both the edges are going in the same direction. See now, see how it lines up nicely there? That's how they are glued on. And we're going to use thick super glue to glue them on. And my glue is kind of stuck. Okay, I can hear the glue wants to come out. Um, and they're easy to glue on. You just run the bead of glue. Make sure you're using thick here. If you're using thin, make sure you wear your goggles. Just run a bead of glue on there. And then just take, and we're going to line up that back edge here and then just press it down hard. And flip, you can see if you flip it over, you can press down over here too as well. I always like to wipe off any excess glue. Make sure that the edge right here is lined up right along that, that little spar along the top. And then just do the same with the other side. Oops, got it wrong. Just like that. All right, and see how the purpose of this is to make sure that you have the right dihedral on the wing. And also, um, inside of there, 
um, along the bottom edge, it's slanted um, so that when it's put on the fuselage boom, you'll see that it makes an angle right here. And what it does is it, it tilts the wing upwards a little bit so that it will pull out of a dive. And that's what the purpose of that. And that's why it was so critical that we don't um, glue it on the wrong way because otherwise this way it's angled down and it will always dive into the ground even if they are tilted back that way. So the orientation is so critical here. Um, and our next step, we're going to have to go outside to trim this uh, before we glue the wing on to the fuselage boom. Um, and that involves moving it back and forth. Um, but right now, it's a little bit too loose. Um, I want that a little bit tighter. Um, so I'm going to take some super glue. And I'm just going to build up a little bit of thickness right there. And take a piece of pl plastic, and this comes from the plastic bag. And we're going to just smooth out that super glue. And we're going to do both sides because I want it tighter. Just like that. Now, if you have the uh, super glue accelerator, this one's this, this brand is called InstaStep, but there's several different brands, and you can get this at a hobby store. You just spray it, one spritz, and just wipe it, and now it's completely hardened. And now, when I put it on, hopefully it's a little bit stiffer. Yeah, that's much stiffer. It will move. Um, but I want it so that it doesn't slide around on me so easily. Okay, so the next time in part four, we're gonna go outside and we're gonna start throwing this and that's gonna determine where the wing is glued onto this fuselage boom. Um, and then the glider part after that is pretty much done and then we're gonna start building the pod. Uh, the pod is used to carry the rocket up into the sky. Um, so, I, like, this is a very simple glider to build. Um, that's why I like it so much. I think that you're going to like it a lot, too. So, um, over here off to the side, we have some other videos that I think you're going to enjoy. My name is Tim Van Milligan. Down there is the subscribe button and the like button, and there's also a place for you to comment. We would really appreciate your comments. Um, so, may the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.